Hey everybody, this is Janet A. from the Brentwood Library. I hope you're all doing your best to stay healthy, safe, and sane. This is my little hedgehog here. His name's Baby. It's very inventive. And that's his mama right there. They are made out of old books, and I thought that I would show you how to make one of these little guys so that you can have a fun craft to do while we are in captivity. So normally I would not condone the destruction of books, but sometimes uh, there's just some books that maybe they're not nice enough to pass along or to sell at the book sale. So those books can become a baby hedgehog. So what you're gonna need for this project is a paperback book, this one's a little too thick for what we need, but this is the one I'm going to use for my example because it's the only one that I don't mind defacing right now. Um, but it could be like a trade paperback. It could be a longer one. The, um, the baby was made out of a Harlequin Romance, which actually is the perfect size because it's the right amount of pages, a little over, but like around 170, 180 is a good amount. Um, this one was also like a trade paperback, the mama. She's a little bit bigger, but you can pretty much do whatever you want, but it needs to be paperback because we're going to have to cut the covers off at some point as well. Um, so the things you're going to need other than the book are scissors, glue, some black paper, and that's it. So you're probably thinking, yeah, I don't really need to have another thing just sitting around the house, but it also is functional. I use this little guy on my desk at work. He holds my business cards and my students can take them whenever they need them and then I just replenish them. You could also, if you have uh, recipes that are on like the index card, you can put it in here while you're cooking and just read off of there. You could use that if you use flashcards for studying. Put your index cards in there. You can also put it by your entryway and put letters or envelopes or bills in there that you need to get out in the mail. You can do tons of things with it. Just use your imagination. This big one, the mama, I actually use to hold my glasses around the house so I know where they are sometimes but anyway it's really just fun to make it and I like making crafts because when you're done you just really feel like you've accomplished something so we're gonna go ahead and start first thing you're gonna do is get your book you're gonna rip out a page in the back and I've already actually ripped one out so I just rip one page out of the back set that aside those are gonna be your ears and then what you're going to do is just open your book at the beginning. It's always a good place to start. And you're going to fold the first page in towards the binding. You're going to take the top, fold it down in towards the binding, and the bottom, and fold it up towards the binding, and you're going to have that. So you need to do that for every page. So that gets a little tedious and takes a little bit of time. The more you start folding, it starts getting a little tight. So if you break the back, not too much, but just enough to uh, fold it, just keep on going. Like I said, this book is way too big, but if you have one like 180 or something, 200, that's really um, a nice size. So you just wanna keep going until you have it all folded. And when you get to the end, you're going to also need to, if you have extra pages at the end, like if you think yours is big enough or you're tired of folding, you can kind of cut those. Well, some of them I've ripped, but you can kind of cut those so that they're along the same size as that. And then you have to cut the cover so that it's the same size, you see? And then the cover acts as your stand. But you want to make sure you do that just so it's kind of like hidden under there. So after you do that, we're going to turn this around. You're going to take your page that you tore out and you can either draw it 
or just cut it freehand, but you're going to cut out like a, well, that was a pencil, not a pen. You're going to cut out a teardrop. Now, if you fold your paper in half, obviously you will have two. So you're going to cut that out. Now, I already have one cut out, so I'm not going to go ahead and cut that one out for you. But I'm going to bring these in and show you. You're going to have your two little ears. What you're going to do is you're going to not fold it in half like a tight fold. You're just going to kind of pucker it a little bit so that it's loose. And you're going to want to put some glue on the end there. And then, of course, on the other end there. Now, I'm not doing this because I didn't... Uh, you know, go and do a whole new hedgehog right now. But so you just eye up where you want your ears and you just plop them in there. The glue holds pretty quickly. So make sure you got it in the right spot. And then you just want to probably make these a little bigger actually. And you just pucker them out. So however big you want the ears to be, mine here are a little bit bigger. So you just eye it up based on the size of your book. Now you're going to do the same thing with the eyes. Now, I'm all about recycling, so for the eyes, I um, took this, got it in the mail, and uh, I just cut out two very small eyes, because this one's the baby, and a nose, and you just glue those on there. Now, for the mom, you can see she's got bigger eyes and nose, because she's a mama. So, you just cut those out and glue them on there. Of course, you can always be as creative as you want. You can, if you have um, G the little wiggly eyes you can put on there, you can put buttons on there. The button can be the nose. You can do whatever you want. The eyes don't have to be black. If you want your eyes to be green or blue or brown, whatever color eyes you want. It's your hedgehog. You can do what you want. So, um, basically, that's about it. That's all you do. It's super easy. Um, like I said, the most time consuming part is folding the pages. And um, when you are folding the pages, um, remember to keep every once in a while uh, breaking the back, uh, backing a little bit so that the pages fall in because it does get a little frustrating. But that's how you make a hedgehog. So I hope you guys can, um, I hope you have books laying around. Now, um, don't be taking somebody else's book that you don't think that they want and then go ahead and make it into a hedgehog because that wouldn't be cool. But um, if you have books that you were going to give away or give to the library for the book sale, why don't you use one and make this cute little hedgehog? I, like I said, I normally don't condone the destruction of books, but... For this little project, I thought it was worth it, and um, I bought this little book at the library for 25 cents. So if you don't have a book or you don't want to destroy a book, this video will probably be up for a while. Once the library reopens, you can come in and ask for a book. You don't even have to pay the 25 cents. Just ask for a book, and we'll give you one to make a little hedgehog. Okay, guys, stay safe and healthy. And have fun. I hope there's a bunch of little hedgehogs running around Brentwood soon. Bye.